What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today what I got for you guys is a very very exciting um video and I know I'm a day late on this video but um I was busy at work all day yesterday so uh I apologize for being late but uh I just really wanted to bring you this um this big news and I know most of y'all probably all of you have already heard about it but um DLC 4 was leaked a couple of days ago in the PlayStation Store um, and it was actually confirmed today by the developers at Treyarch and man oh man this is probably gonna be my favorite DLC out of all four of them um, there is a weird part of this DLC but I don't know I just feel like it's gonna be a great great DLC but I'll get to my beef with it in a minute um, so we're gonna have four multiplayer maps I'm gonna try to get images on the screen of them um, we'll start um, I'm just gonna cover the multiplayer aspect oh okay I'm just gonna cover multiplayer um, because I'm not that big into zombies so I'm not really too knowledgeable on the zombies aspect but we get four new maps well two new maps and two reimagined maps um, and one of the reimagined maps is I'm just in love with and the first one is Citadel this is um, one of the new maps the uh, the description says once home to a powerful medieval army, this ancient castle now sits broken and abandoned. Tight corners force close quarters engagements, while the moat and drawbridge allow us for more unique player movement opportunities in the mid-sized map that last the last trespassers didn't make it out. Didn't make it out alive, but maybe you'll have a better shot. So this is actually really cool um, that we're getting a medieval themed map. Um, and I really like the direction they went with this DLC um, with the medieval theme of that map. Um, oh man, these guys are running around melees. But um, but yeah, so this map looks really cool. I really like the aesthetics of a lot of these maps. Uh, this is the last DLC for the cycle, so they're they're getting a little creative with it. I like how they're doing it. Um, I'm just excited to see how this DLC goes on now the next map we're gonna cover is micro this has got to be the weirdest Call of Duty map that I've ever seen in my life um, this is a map that takes place in a barbecue it's like we're ants running through a picnic and the description says what's better than a barbecue on a hot summer day a miniaturized war zone that takes place on a well-stocked family picnic table that's what navigates navigate this bite-sized battlefield for larger than life experience I really would like to see an interview with Vonderhaar and all the multiplayer developers and just see why what their thought process was in making this really cool or really interesting looking map um, and then we'll get to the uh, to the two remakes uh, the first one oh I'm so excited for it is a remake of my favorite Call of Duty map of all time and that is standoff from Black Ops 2 it's gonna be mainly a Western themed. Let me uh, read you guys the, guys the descriptions. Like gear up first, a showdown in Outlaw, a Western style reimagining of the fan favorite of Call of Duty Black Ops 2 map standoff. This rough and tough medium sized map brings classic engagements, flanking routes, and strategic positions for long and medium range combat. Guys, I'm really excited for this um, when they redid 
hijacked. I was I was really hyped for it, then got really disappointed with how Skyjack turned out. And then when they redid Raid, I was really excited. I was trying to, I was a little timid because I didn't know if it was going to be another Skyjack or if it was actually going to be a decent map and they actually delivered and I think they're going to be doing the same thing with with Outlaw and Standoff. This is going to be a great map. Um, I'm really excited for it. I will be really disappointed if it doesn't actually, you know, play the way we we remembered it. And it's a reimagined map, so it's going to play a little different. But I hope it still plays similar to the structure of the original standoff. Um, and then we'll get to the last one, which is a reimagining. Um, this map is called Rupture. The Call of Duty World at War Classic Outskirts is reimagined as a high-tech facility designed by a futuristic society desperate to repair Earth's atmosphere. Now, to me, what I think they're doing, and I think they've been trying to do this over the uh, the course of the DLC cycle, is to get people ready for Infinite Warfare and just a futuristic you know way that call of duty is going um i never played world at war so i am not familiar with outskirts but i've heard this map is huge um i'm actually probably gonna go buy world at war um for the playstation 3 just so that i can I can imagine that I can get this, you know, a feel for this map. Um, and then the zombies map actually looks really good. I'm not going to cover the zombies aspect because I'm not a zombies player. Um, a bunch of my friends are. I play just to help them out with Easter eggs. But, um, yeah, I'm just really excited for this DLC. We're getting some really creative... Um, maps and some really cool redesigns I'm actually glad they're doing more than one um, I wish they would have redone drone um, just because that's my second favorite map from Black Ops 2 I actually take that back third favorite map because Raid is my second favorite standoff is my all time favorite map in Call of Duty history um, just because Black Ops 2 was the the game that I really got into Call of Duty with. And, you know, I'm just really excited that they are they redid three Black Ops 2 maps. Now, I wish they would have redone um, Drone, but I'm excited that I got two of my top three favorite maps redone in this life cycle of Black Ops 3. And now I don't know if we're going to, this will be the last Black Ops game or the last game that Treyarch designs for, um, for Activision. But I have a feeling that they will continue to make games. I just think they're going to, you know, come up with a, a brand new title. Um, hopefully they redo World at War or do a World at War 2 um, because I think that's what the fans would love is to get a World War a, a second World at War game um, just because that's what the fans want is you know boots on the ground and I'm going to give Infinite Warfare a chance um you know, but I'm not expecting it to be all boots on the ground. I know it's going to be a lot like Black Ops 3 movement. But I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to be bringing gameplay to the channel. I'm going to be bringing Modern Warfare Remastered gameplay to the channel. I'm just really, really excited for the next few months of Black Ops 3. Um, and then Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. If you got, I don't do campaigns, but if you guys want me to do the, uh, 
a walkthrough of the campaign for um, Modern Warfare Remastered and the uh, campaign for Infinite Warfare, um, let me know in the comment sections. Um, I'm really interested to see the uh, the campaign for uh, COD 4 because I never played COD 4. Um, so I'm probably going to go buy it on the PlayStation 3 and play it um, and hopefully I can get my Elgato working so that I can um, bring you guys gameplay of it. Right now I'm just using the uh, in, in system recording on my PlayStation which is still easy for me but uh but yeah um let me know what you think of this dlc um is standoff one of your favorite maps um is outskirts one of your favorite maps let me know um actually let me know what your favorite call of duty map is from the treyarch studios um in the comment section um and then we'll um yeah we'll go from there uh, like if you enjoy the video hit that like button comment um, if you want to see more videos, um, subscribe if you enjoy my content. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Right, let, bring,